This section is about bacterial conjunctivitis. Um, again, this is not meant to treat, but to get to provide basic knowledge about what bacterial conjunctivitis is. It is caused by Staph aureus, Strep pneumonia, Haemophilus influenza, Moraxella catarralis. Staph aureus is most common in adults. It can affect either eye. The affected eye is often stuck shut in the morning, so discharge continues throughout the day in thick and globular yellow, white, or green. When you wipe them, the discharge reappears within minutes of wiping the lids. What are the treatment? The preferred is erythromycin or trimethoprim polymexin B drops. The dosing is half an inch, about 1.25 centimeter, of the erythromycin ointment deposited inside of the lower eyelid or one to two drops of the trimethoprim polymyxin B four times daily for five to seven days to the affected eye. The other alternative treatments are the azithromycin for more than a year of age, one drop twice daily for two days, then one day daily for five days, but it, this is more expensive. Another is the sulfacetamide ophthalmic drops, rare but can have serious allergic events. Other alternative also is an aminoglycoside drops and ointments, which are actually poor choices since they are toxic to the corneal epithelium and can cause a reactive keratoconjunctivitis after several days of use. The other one is a chloramphenicol drops. It is inexpensive, but can cause bone marrow hypoplasia, aplastic anemia, death. So not of the market in the US, is this is not available. So the fluoroquinolones are not the first line because of the re-emerging resistance and cost, but exception to the ones who wear contact lenses. So for contact lens wearers, suggest antibiotics, antibiotic treatment due to risk of keratitis and or infection with gram-negative organisms. Fluoroquinolones are preferred due to the pseudomonas. So again, I hope this helps and always consult uh, from your medical professionals and I'll see you guys again in the next vlog.